What's up you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, Lord help me, because I'm gonna be talking about Selena Gomez and Justin and Hailey Bieber, because you guys, while I was away, the drama between these three absolutely came out to play. Okay, so apparently you guys, Radar Online recently released a report where a source shared that Justin Bieber was the one who was reaching out to Selena Gomez and begging her to swoop in and save Hailey Bieber whenever the drama between Selena, Haley, and Kylie Jenner was at its peak. Now, while that is obviously some piping hot freaking tea, I want to mention that Dumois is actually saying something different when it comes to this Radar Online report. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. I also do wanna mention, you guys, that this Radar Online report has mysteriously disappeared from their website. You can still find the story whenever you look it up, but when you go to click on the link, it just brings you to the Radar Online homepage, which is a little suspicious to me. We're gonna get into why I think that, but just something in my gut is telling me that something's off. I don't know if it's Scooter Braun putting in the work or what. We're gonna get into that. In addition to that, you guys, we also have this recent report from Us Magazine where Source shared that Justin Bieber is heartbroken, that Haley is emotionally struggling, which this is something she did confirm herself over on her Instagram story. She talked about how thus far in 2023, she has experienced some of the darkest moments in her adult life, presumably because of the backlash she's received from the Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner drama. So we're going to get into all of this, you guys. I swear I am always hoping that things between these three are quiet and peaceful, but when they are not quiet and peaceful, it is my job to fill you in on it. And I wanted to just go ahead and make that disclaimer because I didn't want to see any comments being like, Madison, you're part of the problem. You're perpetuating the drama. No, I'm not trying to perpetuate the drama. It's just my job to fill you guys in on what's happening and what people are talking about, especially when it comes to your faves. So that is why we needed to get into this Selena, Justin, and Haley drama. But before we do, you guys, because this is the first pop-up of the week, you know, I have to check in and see how the House of Hill is doing. So let me know how you are, what you've been up to, all of that good stuff down below. Me personally, you guys, I survived turning 30. My birthday was yesterday. Napa was so much fun. I posted a little mini vlog recapping the trip right before this video. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out. My friends and I had a great time. And then I spent yesterday with my family, which is exactly what I needed. Still definitely coming to terms with everything, but feeling more excited about this new decade, feeling very grateful that I got to spend and, you know, the weekend with people I care about, spend Monday with my family, and then today I get to see all of you and spend my day with all of you. So truthfully, this has been obviously one of the best birthdays ever because I'm getting to hang out with all of my freaking favorite people. But you guys, enough about me. I'm done talking about my age. I'm done talking about birthdays. I know you guys are probably sick of it. And I know for sure you straight to the T people are like, Madison, you teased Justin, Haley, and Selena T. Can we please get to it? And yes, we can. So go ahead and drop this time code down there in the comments to help out your fellow straight to the T people. And now let's get to unwrapping these Justin and Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez facts. All right, so as you all know, the most recent drama between Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber came to a screeching halt whenever Selena Gomez posted on her Instagram story saying that Hailey Bieber had reached out to her. She asked people to please stop sending her hate and she reminded everyone to always be kind. After that, Hailey Bieber posted her own message over on her Instagram story, thanking Selena for speaking out. She very mildly took accountability for posting things she shouldn't and she also reminded everybody that you know things can be misinterpreted that you see on social media. Now after both Selena and Haley posted those messages on their Instagram stories and started following each other we were all kind of like okay I think peace between these three people meaning Justin, Haley, and Selena. Yes I know Kylie was thrown into that drama too but people were really focused on Justin, Haley, and Selena but I feel like after both ladies posted those Instagram stories we all felt like peace had been achieved. But unfortunately you guys we were wrong because obviously here I am having some fresh tea for you and I'm gonna go ahead and go through this chronologically so starting with what happened in the middle of last week right when I was in the middle of trying to pack and get all my ish together for this trip Haley Bieber posted this message about her emotional state over on her Instagram story the message reads I like to make jokes about how I feel because sometimes it's easier than admitting I'm having a hard time but truthfully since 2023 started I've had some of the saddest hardest moments I've ever ever had in my adult life and my mind and emotions have been fragile to say the least. And I know other people feel the same way I feel, so just know you're not alone. So you get it. Haley admits she's struggling over on her Instagram story, you guys. Then a few days later, aka at the end of last week, we get this new report from Radar Online. And in this report, you guys, a source is spilling the tea that Justin is the one who quote, begged Selena Gomez to post something in defense of Haley because she wasn't handling the backlash well. A source said, quote, 
Selena has no love for Haley, but she still cares about Justin, who privately begged her to get folks to believe they've all made peace. It's not for Haley's sake, but for him. Then this insider went on to say, quote, Justin is concerned he and Haley have become the most unpopular couple in Hollywood and is terrified that when and if he is able to come back, his fans won't be there anymore. Which, before Justin Bieber fans get mad at me and drag me in the comments, let's logically think this through for a second, you guys. Justin has not put out any new music in a very long time. He recently sold his music catalog. He canceled the rest of his Justice tour. Like, the man is on a very serious hiatus. And you guys know that whenever somebody decides to come back from a hiatus, people are ready to judge you 10 times harder than they've ever judged you before. So I do feel like that is a very valid concern considering Justin Bieber has been taking a serious break when it comes to music. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's not me being biased. That's not me being a hater. That's not me not liking Justin Bieber. Now, as I mentioned, after this Radar Online report circulated, it has now, as of today, mysteriously been erased from the website. It's gone missing in cyberspace. And like I said, for some reason, that just feels a little odd to me. And I felt like I needed to mention it to you guys. And I know some people are going to come at me and say, Madison, it's Radar Online. Come on, be real here. And I know a lot of people like to hate on Radar Online, but you guys, a lot of times, at least parts of what they say does end up being true, which is why I haven't completely written Radar Online off. However, as I previously mentioned at the beginning of this video, Dumois claims that Hailey Bieber was the one who was reaching out to Selena Gomez. Somebody asked Dumois about this Radar Online report specifically, and she wrote saying that she knows Hailey was texting Selena a lot. Now, after that Radar Online report seemingly disappeared, we got this new report from Us Magazine, you guys, where a source shared that Justin Bieber is not worried about himself, he is actually heartbroken over Hailey Bieber emotionally struggling. In fact, this source specifically said, quote, it breaks Justin's heart to see Hailey struggling emotionally the way that she has been these past few months. He loves his wife more than anything and knows she has a heart of gold. This insider then continued saying that Justin knows Hailey's truth despite what some people may say or think and that Justin allegedly knows Hailey only wants what's best for people and has the best intentions. Then this source ended their insider info saying, quote, Justin knows that life is all about the ups and downs and he knows that she'll get through this, but it's been difficult seeing her upset and all he can do is be by her side and be there for her no matter what. Okay, now obviously I have a lot of thoughts about this article. I have thoughts about the Radar Online article. I have thoughts about Hailey Bieber's Instagram story. I just have thoughts about all of this. And even though I have consumed quite a bit of shams the past couple of days, I obviously have to cheers with my House of Hill fam. So let's go ahead and make this pop up official and get to the shambong. My first shambong with the House of Hill since turning the big you know what. Okay, so like I mentioned, when it comes to Radar Online, I feel like you really do have to kind of sift through their reports a lot of times because like I mentioned, while I do think there are parts of their reports where sources are telling the truth, I also think sometimes Radar Online has a tendency to, you know, sensationalize a few details. So when it comes to this specific report about Justin Bieber begging Selena Gomez to help Haley, do I think that Justin was literally begging Selena Gomez to swoop in and help Haley? No. Only because because you guys, I feel like Hailey Bieber would have absolutely flipped her lid, lost her ish, done all of the things if she knew that Justin Bieber had correspondence with Selena Gomez that she wasn't a part of, that she wasn't privy to. I feel like Hailey would absolutely lose it if she knew that Justin and Selena were talking and she wasn't part of the group text. So I do not think that Justin Bieber reached out to Selena Gomez personally or had any sort of one-on-one -on -one conversation with Selena Gomez when it came to the most recent drama. That was just my long logical reaction and it also helped that Dumois posted she hadn't heard of Justin Bieber personally reaching out to Selena Gomez. She had only heard that Haley was the one texting Selena Gomez a lot. Now having said that, do I think that the reason Selena Gomez posted that Instagram story in defense of Haley and swooped in to help Haley is because she still cares for Justin Bieber on a human level? Yes I do. I absolutely believe that Selena Gomez does not care for Haley Bieber. Multiple people have confirmed this. Multiple people have 
confirmed this to Dumois saying that Selena is fine making peace publicly with Haley, but that doesn't mean that she wants to be her BFF and hang out with her. She still really has some valid reasons for not liking Haley Bieber. So I believe that Selena did not post that Instagram story to help Haley. I think she posted that Instagram story because on some level, even though Justin didn't treat Selena the best, she still does care about him. And that was her way of kind of offering the olive branch to Justin saying, you know what, whatever happened in the past, it's done. I'm going to do you guys a solid and help out your wife. And then we're even, we're good. And then the other part of that report that I believe you guys is the fact that Justin Bieber was concerned for him and Haley's reputation. However, I do want to say, I don't think it was just Justin. I think that Haley was also equally just as concerned because let's be real here. Haley Bieber has a beauty brand. She's also relaunching her YouTube cooking show. She probably does not want stands attacking both of those business ventures because right now she is the one who is doing things. She is the one who is out there being the businesswoman. Justin Bieber, he's on a break. So I'm sure that they both had equal concerns for how the public was perceiving them amidst that drama with Selena and Kylie. And I'm also sure that Justin's team was shaken in their boots over how Justin and Haley were being perceived amid that drama with Selena, Haley, and Kylie. Because like I said earlier, this man has not put anything out in a very long time. And the last time we saw him out on stage was at the Rolling Loud Festival. And his surprise performance was overshadowed by the fact that people in the crowd were chanting mean things about Haley. So when that source spoke to Radar Online and said that, you know, Justin Bieber is concerned with his reputation if and when he makes a musical comeback, I believe that part. Now, also like I briefly mentioned earlier, you guys, this Radar Online report is no longer showing up on their site. This could mean literally nothing, but for some reason, my gut is not letting me let this go. I don't know why. I mean, I obviously have a theory. And my theory is, I personally think that Justin and his team did not like the narrative being out there, especially after Hailey Bieber posted on her Instagram story saying, hey, I've had some of the darkest moments of my adult life ever. I don't think that Justin and his team liked the narrative out there being, yeah, I know Hailey's struggling emotionally and mentally, but Justin is really concerned for himself and him and Hailey's reputation. I personally think that that's why this report has conveniently vanished because I also think it's very coincidental that after that Radar Online report conveniently vanished, we got that new report from Us Magazine about how, you know, Justin Bieber is just heartbroken over Haley emotionally struggling. Again, that is just a complete speculation on my part. That is completely just a theory. And I know Justin and Haley fans are gonna be so mad at me that I said that, but it was on my mind and I would feel weird not telling you guys about it. And as far as Haley Bieber's Instagram story opening up about her emotional struggles, obviously I feel horrible about that. I never wanna hear that somebody has had some of the darkest moments of their adult life. That is absolutely terrible. And again, I feel like threats and just this vitriol that people spew is absolutely 1000% never okay. And even if, you know, Haley did bring some of this hate on herself by posting things that she knew could be misinterpreted, it's still not okay and it's still not good for anyone to feel that low. And I would never in a million years wish that on anyone. So I do feel for Haley that she's going through this. That's just a horrible headspace to be in. However, I am happy to hear that, you know, Justin Bieber is being her shoulder to lean on because I feel like throughout Justin and Haley's marriage, the majority of the time anyway, we've really seen Haley be Justin's rock. We rarely see Justin be Haley's rock, even though I'm sure that he has, that's how marriage works. But I do feel like it's refreshing to, you know, at least publicly hear about how Justin Bieber is being there for Haley. He is returning that support. He is reciprocating it because again, I feel like Haley has really stepped up a lot for Justin and I'm happy to hear that he's stepping up for her as well. Sorry, I know I've been rambling, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But the last thing I want to say, you guys, is that I hope Haley Bieber continues on this path of resilience. I hope that Justin Bieber continues to support Haley and worry about, you know, her emotional well-being above anything else. And I also hope that Selena Gomez continues to remain booked, busy, and unbothered. And fingers crossed, you guys, that one day in our lifetime, peace will be achieved between these three. But you know that whenever there is not peace between these three and there's something that needs to be discussed, I'll be sitting right here to fill you guys in on it. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you when it comes to Selena Gomez and Justin and Hailey Bieber. I want to hear all of your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back here to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. If you guys want to check out my merch, you can also check out my merch store at hasselfield.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys
guys next time. Bye.